In today's economic environment, small electrical or gas-powered carts are used to perform a wide variety of tasks. These carts are commonly known as utility carts, industrial carts, service carts, electric trucks, or other names. Safety is the common thread among these carts, no matter what they're called. The critical part of safety is the fact that anyone can operate these electric carts without much training, and therein lies the problem. They're too easy to operate, so many drivers just don't pay much attention to safety. They just hop on, and off they go. This short program is designed to outline some of the safety responsibilities and provide information about utility cart safety. Certainly, you're interested in the maintenance applications of the utility cart, but we'll throw in some utility course safety as well for those users and the maintenance persons who operate utility carts in their routine jobs. Carts must be maintained in good physical condition, with good brakes and no sharp edges on the cart that can cause an injury. A written cart maintenance checklist should be maintained on each cart and completed each day. This serves as documentation that maintenance was provided. Safety and operating decals and instructions should be prominently displayed at all times on each cart. Although there are no established requirements, it's recommended that operators should be 18 years of age or older. Don't leave carts in congested areas. When storing utility carts, make sure they're secured. If they're inside the building, make sure they're locked. Keys should always be removed to a secure area when the cart is not in use. In order to minimize the potential for vehicle-pedestrian contact, specific routes and parking locations may be developed to assist departments and supervisors in advising their employees on proper campus driving procedures. Utility carts should only be operated from the driver's side. Never drive with more passengers than there are seats available or allow riders at the back of the cart. Be sure your passengers are fully seated and check for obstacles before moving. Keep your entire body, particularly your feet and legs, inside the cart when moving. Be certain to set the brakes when coming to a complete stop and when you are going to exit the vehicle. Use extra care when operating a utility cart in reverse or on hills wet surfaces, smooth surfaces, or rough terrain. Remove the key when the utility cart is not in use. Of course, never operate any vehicle when impaired by alcohol or drugs. In the event of inclement weather, seek appropriate shelter if lightning is present, as utility carts don't provide protection from lightning. How about seat belts in these carts? Can you operate them on the roads or highway? Should they be licensed? Do you need a driver's license to use it? The push is on for environmental friendly transportation and there are now many manufacturers who will be developing and selling these vehicles. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration classifies a four-wheeled motor vehicle with top speed of 20 to 25 miles per hour as low-speed vehicles. Utility carts, as presently manufactured, have a top speed of less than 20 miles an hour, so they're not in the low-speed vehicle classification. Electric carts that can reach 20 to 25 miles per hour or more fall under the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. This means that they have to equip them with lights, turn signals, seat belts, plus many other requirements. Check with your campus safety or transportation office to find out the specific requirements for seat belts and any age restrictions for drivers. Okay, let's go back to reality. Your organization is responsible for setting the safety rules, operating procedures, and making sure all utility cart operators are sufficiently trained and certified to operate the vehicle safely. It's highly recommended that a training program be conducted and that operators are trained and authorized by your company to operate the vehicle safely. Wearing a seat belt is up to the specific driving policies of your campus. The vast majority of utility carts running on electricity are supplied by several batteries. One of the most important responsibilities is the care and maintenance of these batteries. There's a major safety factor when using, handling, or charging batteries. During charging of the batteries on electric utility carts, hydrogen gas is emitted and it's extremely flammable. 
your university may have a maintenance department that is responsible for charging and maintaining utility carts. If so, do not perform any maintenance yourself. Deliver the cart to the maintenance department. Don't allow smoking anywhere near charging batteries and post no smoking signs so everyone is aware of the no smoking rule. Make sure there is good outside exhaust ventilation for the charging area and no open flames or smoking allowed near the filling area for gasoline powered carts. Lead acid storage batteries don't store electric power. Instead, the battery is a chemical machine that produces power on demand. A typical battery has a number of individual cells containing layers of lead plates immersed in sulfuric acid. When sulfuric acid contacts the lead plates inside the cell, energy is produced. During charging, flammable hydrogen and oxygen gases are formed. Most of these gases eventually bond together to form water, which is then lost through the battery vents. The main battery terminals are the positive and negative posts. The battery may also have vent caps on top of it. These caps serve two purposes. They permit the checking and maintenance of water and acid levels and provide a vent for the escape of gases formed when the battery is charging. Manufacturers have also developed low maintenance and maintenance free batteries. These produce less explosive gas and effectively eliminate your exposure to chemical burns during maintenance. When a battery is being charged, electrical power surges through the acid, generating hydrogen and oxygen. These explosive gas mixtures seep out of the vents and can be ignited by a flame or spark. Now, here are a few safety tips recommended by battery manufacturers. Keep sparks and flames away from the battery. Inspect the battery in natural light. Remove wristwatches, which might make electrical contact and create sparks. Protect eyes, face, and body from acid. Eyes are vulnerable to exploding batteries, so wear safety goggles and a face shield when inspecting or cleaning the battery. If acid does enter the eye, immediately flood with running water for at least 30 minutes. See a doctor as soon as possible. If acid contacts the skin, Wash the affected area immediately with plenty of water. Avoid chemical burns by not rubbing eyes or skin while working with a battery. Wash hands immediately after completing the job. Clean up all acid spills and flush clothing with water and baking soda solution. Make sure the vent caps are tightened or properly placed on the vent posts. Placing a damp cloth over vent caps acts as a flame arrester. Some maintenance-free batteries may not have the vent caps. The vent caps on top of the battery are designed to help keep the acid electrolyte within the battery and keep dirt out. The vent caps should always be kept firmly in place. When an electrolyte runs out of the battery, it can cause corrosion of the terminals and cables, reducing battery function. Keep the top of the battery clean and free of corrosion by periodically washing the battery with a solution of one quarter cup of baking soda to a bucket of water. After washing or scraping off all corrosion deposits, coat the metal parts with thick terminal grease compound. Inspect the vent caps for proper functioning. Always wear acid resistant gloves and long sleeves when cleaning batteries, avoiding any splashes of debris or acid into the face and eyes. Don't make live connections directly to the battery. An incorrect connection of battery cables and carelessness of tools around the battery can set off explosive gases. Use proper lifting techniques when moving batteries. Batteries are small but heavy and awkward to lift. Back, shoulder, and arm injuries are avoidable by using a battery carrying strap and using proper safe lifting procedures. Service carts have the same basic operating rules and safety precautions as do utility cart vehicles. Some are higher off the ground than others, so this tells you that they tip over much easier. As you can see, there are a variety of uses for utility carts. No matter the use, whether it's for pleasure or work, it's your responsibility to make sure they are operated in a safe and professional manner. They're easy to use, but they're also easy to tip over, lose control, or the brakes may not stop as fast as you think they can. 
The best advice is to follow your company's operating rules and take the time to operate them in a safe manner. Thank you. The following rules pertain to both electric and gasoline operated small carts. Only drivers authorized by the university and trained in the safe operation of small carts shall be permitted to operate such vehicles. All new cart operators must receive training before they are allowed to operate a small cart. Stunt driving and horseplay are prohibited. No passengers will be permitted on carts unless provided with adequate seating. No one is permitted to ride on the running boards, fenders, or any part of the cart except on the seats. Use seat belts for operator and passenger if the cart is so equipped. Operators or passengers shall not jump on or off carts in motion. Carts should be driven on university streets whenever possible. In the event a sidewalk must be used, speed should be no faster than the average pedestrian. Allow pedestrians the right-of-way. Unlicensed carts may not be driven outside the campus boundaries. Carts shall not exceed 20 miles per hour on all campus roadways. Operators shall be familiar with and observe all established traffic laws. Citations will be issued for violation of traffic and speed laws. Materials and equipment shall be loaded so they will not cause a hazard by shifting or falling off. Do not exceed the maximum load capacity of the cart. Top-heavy equipment is especially dangerous and should be secured near the center of the cart to avoid tipping. Be extremely careful during turning maneuvers. Carts are particularly subject to tipping on uneven athletic fields and curbing. No cart shall be operated at night without properly working headlights and taillights. Do not allow your passengers to hang feet, legs, or arms out of the carts. Drive with more people than the cart is designed to carry. Drive or park on grassy areas unless in an emergency. Operate carts off university property. Park carts in areas that would obstruct the means of egress from the buildings. Play or roughhouse on carts. Overall, utility carts are easy to use and drive, but when you begin to use them without observing all the safety rules and operating them with common sense, you'll be running into problems. Use them, but use them in a professional manner.